Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to replay Golf Seasons for hopefully an under par round. <laughs> I just put ourselves in full screen there and get to reading too. I know, awesome. <laughs> welcome to Golf Seasons. The year is 9XX. The new sport of golf has taken over the world as suddenly as if it had rained down from the sky. A blessing from the elders, indeed. Oh, I see that it's got that the particle effect in the manual as well in the background, so I guess that's the rain. <laughs> it is a time of environmental disaster, as if the world is being torn apart from within. Wow, oh, boy, this is a much darker game. There's a sense of some dark magic, but the best golfers are not concerned. Those committed, few brave the elements to carve out a legacy in what will be forgotten <laughs> as the best game that was ever played. Yes, how could we never remember this? Ever. <laughs> Let's define the golf etiquette. Uh oh, a beautiful new sport has been giving up, given to us by the gods. Let's lay down some ground rules to keep the game fun and free of elitism for the foreseeable future. Sand. Great efforts have been made to remove sand from the courses following environmental catastrophe. However, some still remains and must be disregarded. If a shot finds sand, the golfer must take some of that sand and put it into their pocket. This will ensure that the remaining sand is clear from the course by year's end. <laughs> Golfers no longer have to deal with it. I see. <laughs> Fairways, all golfing terrains are beautiful and beloved. To call any of the ways more fair than the others may anger the golfing gods, so it is currently discouraged. Shortcuts, at times it may appear possible to cut across a certain part of a golf hole. The golfing gods likely didn't intend this, so it is not advised. Not all yards are created equal. I think those are the same distances from the uh, other game. Hmm... At the very least, I'm going to keep that open. Swing with an almighty vengeance and an almighty golf club. Golf is not kind to golfers at the moment, so golfers are encouraged in turn to be vicious with their swings. A straightforward game. Golf is a very simple sport that not even the most skilled plays players would take a strategic approach to. I highly disagree. The only requirement in golf is to hit the ball in the direction of the hole and to keep doing so it goes in there. Yes. Just go straight through the water, it doesn't matter. <laughs> any talk of strategy or using golf clubs in any fashion other than their intended purpose is sure to displease the golfing gods. Let's respect nature. The seasons are not kind to prospective golfers. They change in an instant, making conditions almost too difficult to play. But serious golfers will always find a way, like when I played in snow. Summer is the fairest of seasons, and it has long been kind to golfers. Good scores obtained on the summer course are solely due to the weather, and no golfer has the right to take credit for good shots, well struck or otherwise. <laughs> Winter. Golf winters are erratic, usually lasting as few as two holes. Winter snow is deep and unforgiving. Any shot that lands in it will be very difficult to hit, so it is recommended to avoid the snow. Unskilled golfers are encouraged to play the shortest club in their bag to avoid TC by friends. <laughs> Spring is a fairer season, but the big, beautiful hedges are prone to growing. They are counted as out of bounds, ooh. So golfers are instructed to avoid them at all costs, unless their golf ball is in them. <laughs> Autumn brings with it great winds. No shot will be simple in these times. The best thing you can do is not fight the wind. Simply allow it to carry you to where it wants the ball to be. Remember, a minute on the golf course is worth three with the family. <laughs> and notes, 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 back cover. Alright, so let's get back over to the distances and have ourselves a round. <laughs> Oh boy, this is going to be a lot harder than the first one to get under par, I think. So this could take me maybe like a really lucky single round. It could maybe take me a hundred rounds. Who knows? Oh, no. <laughs> well, there's the lazy crocodile. Still have not found the bird, though. Uh, unless it's maybe in the trees or something like that and it pops up randomly. I don't know. Anyway, I'm 176. Which is... Uh, plus that wind. I guess the 4-iron, then. Yeah, I guess. I guess. A little bit to the right, I guess, too. Maybe with a smidge of left curve. Okay! Oh, oh I'm not on the green. Dang it! 
So I can't even see the putting surface. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and... Ah, oh, I'm already on... I'm already over par. Dang it. Dang it. Well, that's okay. We are gonna get the hang of this eventually, for better or for worse. Oh wait, didn't wasn't this the one that I was able to get to the green just by hitting driver and curving it to the right? Let's try it again. <laughs> oh, that wind! The wind is much stronger! <laughs> it pushed me way off to the side. Oh no, I'll divert your eyes! Okay. Alright, so let's try this again, and... More curve! <laughs> Lots more curve! Because of the wind. Uh, that's like full sandwich based on that, yeah. Based on the distances and half power from the bunkers. E oh no, not good, not good. E oh, three over par. <laughs> yeah, this is looking not too good here. <laughs> okay, so the snow I was warned about. So I'm just gonna try and hit this one straight out, little left curve to avert the wind. Okay. Alright, par 5 as well, so uh, I'm gonna hit right out there. I think that's about the right distance to end up. Mm -hmm. is now I don't know what this is gonna do to the ball. Like, is it gonna be cut in half like a sand shot? It did not, it not, did not specify this like the uh, other manual did when it came to sand. I'm gonna, just gonna assume it's halved. So, 3 wood, I suppose. Probably, maybe. <laughs> Please don't go OB. Okay. Yeah, it seems about half. Uh, I guess I could just aim as is. Yeah, bird, baby! So there's still hope for getting under par until we reach this hole. <laughs> uh, what was 149? Six iron. That's... Well, I mean, six iron is too much, but I mean... I don't know about stopping the ball. Get on there! Okay. <laughs> six iron is the key to victory. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're on the birdie train now somehow. <laughs> um, I suppose I could do a curve way off to the right like I did on the other hole. Yeah, there we go. I don't know about that water though. <laughs> That's just asking for trouble. But I think I'll carry it and end up in the bunker if anything. Go over. Oh, wow, I'm actually on the green. Oh, man, this could be an eagle, and I could be under par after this hole. Oh, fine, I'll take a birdie. I mean a bird. Never call it a birdie, it's a bird. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, wait, isn't this the one that I could just go straight for it? And I was like, against my better judgment, but it worked out anyway. Oh, no, 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 that's out of bounds. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna. Well, maybe I. I don't know. I think I need more curvature to avoid the trees. Okay, <laughs> I was about right with that, but it's just I didn't play for enough wind. Uh, sandwich. It's a full sandwich, right? Yeah. Actually, maybe a pitching wedge. Go up to about there instead. And okay. Decent recovery. Oh, no, that was not a decent... <laughs> I was going to say decent recovery because if I make that, but... Nope! Not making it. Not today, not now. Okay, so hitches are indeed out of bounds, they said, so... Here we go, and it's way off over to... Oh! Too much! <laughs> that was even outside the hedges. No eyes! My eyes! Okay, maybe I should just go straight and curve it a little left instead. Okay. One twelve, five wood. <laughs> like five wood out of the sand just looks so weird. Wait, wait, what? Four wood. Uh oh, what? Um. <laughs> this this should not be. I'm gonna assume that they mean five wood. And it's just another one of those little glitches that they have in there. <laughs> okay, so four wood it is. And a little tap. Dang it. Dang it. I think it's probably going to take me just one more round to get an under par round on this. Probably. I mean, I, I, I might just be underestimating this, though, but it just just seems like it's going to be that way based on what I have learned thus far. Uh, go up a little bit there. I'm going to try and go for that chunky patch of green fairway between the hedges and then to the greener. 
Maybe I should just write this down off to the side so I don't have to keep consulting the manual. <laughs> Six iron. Yeah, I'm gonna curve it a little to the left. Yeah. Ooh, wow, that went kind of far. Okay, so I'm. I think I'm being aimed directly at the hole. I think. Mm, yeah. Burr! That was the last hole though, so I'm two over par. That's my best score on this yet, but we're going for under par. And it doesn't take very long to play this, as you just seen. So here we go, another round right from the start. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. So, I think now, now that I thought about this more, you know the distance between us and the hole. I think the the way that they were expecting you to figure this out is to divide the distance between you and the hole so that you know your landing area. Uh, like, I want to hit near the edge of that patch of fairway that you see directly in front of me. So I'd have to hit. 377 divided by 2 in order to get to that particular spot, or, you know, back a little bit further if you want to be even safer. I'm gonna go 6 iron, and way off to the right in the curvature! Ah! Now, how did that even happen? <laughs> I, I was trying to play it safe, and it, it failed me. It failed me. Get on there, owl. Sandwich, and that was pathetic. <laughs> there we go. Why do we have the dark music going on in the background? This game is supposed to be musicless. I thought. <laughs> well, I'm only one over power this time. All right, so 13 with me. So we're gonna do that big curve off to the right. Oh, so close. <laughs> that was actually pretty, pretty good though. Overall, I think. I think. So I'm not gonna do a full sandwich. It's kind of whoa. <laughs> I was gonna say because of the wind, but the wind. Uh, that was a uh, spicy meatball. Okay, I'm gonna go. Just hit it without. <laughs> without changing my directions. That I bet that was gonna miss based on how little slope there was at that angle. So I was right. Uh, guess straight out. Don't miss it. Oh, I'll miss it too badly. That's a power five, so two twenty-five. It's three wood, right? I thought it was. <laughs> it looks so silly curving that much. All right, so I think this one I'm gonna have to. That's that's the neutral spot, but this I think I'm supposed to aim like probably there. Just as my best guess for curvature. No, I should have aimed straight. Really interesting. It's a birdie, though. I'm a bird. Bird. I have disgraced the golf gods. <sighs> sad, sad. Okay, so this one wasn't that wasn't it the six iron that I hit on this one? 149. Yeah, but I think the wind was the same direction too, but not a full six iron. Oh, oh I'm in the snow. I thought it was that was almost went in the water there. Now we're okay. I just want to hit a little little pooper to get to the hole there. Doink. Yeah. <laughs> Where, where's the hole? Okay. <laughs> All right. One under par. I've just got to stay steady until the end somehow. <laughs> as unlikely as it sounds. Well, actually, this one's at par five that I could potentially get a really good score on if I get myself into some nice safety zones here. Um, okay, so I go there and big curve to the right. Yo, okay. <laughs> okay, so it's not an eagle this time, but... I do have a good chance at a birdie. I mean bird. I mean bird. <laughs> okay, sand wedge. Yeah, there we go. Maybe I should have do it pitching wedge and a little bit higher than that. But anyway, not changing the cursor. Yeah, bird. Yeah, bird. But things go downhill very quickly in golf. We know that for a fact. So we must not lose focus whatsoever throughout the entire round. Okay, that worked out well this time. Sand wedge. A little bit off to that side because the wind, because for some reason, even on that short distance, really makes the ball curve. Oh! <laughs> oh you know, it's kind of late and I shouldn't be screaming like that. <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible to do because it never really showed the hole on the overworld. <laughs> I should say the overhead. It only really shows the hole when you're over at the um, 
of the green area. <laughs> okay, oh wait, that was, yeah, that was the quote-unquote forward shot. <laughs> and there we go, I under hit that a little bit, or maybe not. Uh, I think I'll try there. Holy moly, this is the round of the century! <laughs> <laughs> okay, just as long as I don't screw up too badly here. I think my strategy of going straight up here is the best way to go, because you can go from Chunky Patch of Fairway to Chunky Patch. But I would presume that if you really want to get a low score on this, you would aim, like, over that away way and just could take the most direct route, and hopefully you get an eagle that way. But we're, we're, just, we're just playing for safety here <laughs> at this point. We, we have five under par. That means we can, we have a little bit of leeway here to kind of, kind of do our thing. <laughs> so let's just not mess it up. Just kind of play to, ooh, oh no. <laughs> I don't know why that ended up so short when I used the three wood, but okay, I'll, I'll use a driver and I'll curve it to the left a little too. We'll be, we'll be okay. We'll make it. We, we we'll, we'll make it. We've got this. We've got this in the bag. Look at the, did you see that cursor is like pointing this way, but in this possession, in this position. Uh, oh wait, the distance is uh, five iron. Okay, ready, steady, and curve to the left. Yo, all right, we can do this. Four putts to victory. <laughs> Oh, I've never been more happy to get a bogey. <laughs> All right, that's another world record. Oh, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Another under par round, and I get seemingly nothing again. <laughs> well, other than the sweet, sweet satisfaction. And with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video when I do Golf Nights, hopefully under par somehow.